Cam School Remix. You want to do psychic surgery? Look like some kind of evil Mola Ram? If you haven't heard about it, psychic surgery actually has some horrific precedents. There are people who actually claim they can cure illnesses by reaching their hands inside of you and pulling out the tumors and stuff. And the way they do it is with chicken blood and pig's blood and they actually pull out guts, like actual animal parts claiming it's part of your body. There are ways to do it that don't contaminate your hands with salmonella. Here's how you're gonna make the blood packs. First thing you wanna do is go to the store and get the cheapest, crappiest bags you can. You want them to be super thin. So cheaper is better. Way better. Exactly. Second thing you need to do is make some fake blood. You guys know how to make fake blood? No. Yes. Uh, you're gonna do caro syrup, corn syrup. Yeah, corn syrup. That gives it the viscosity. Mm. That's important. And yeah. then uh, red food color. And, and sometimes fact, you can use a little bit of flour if you want a little thickness. The caro syrup by itself, you don't want to mix with the food coloring because it's so viscous, it's not gonna give that good blood feeling to it. If you plan to do this in a stage show, definitely go and get yourself an Nalgene bottle. If you don't have an Nalgene bottle, buy yourself caro syrup. It's like four bucks and get rid of two thirds of it. It depends on how much you want to make. I recommend being very, very thick on the food coloring. In different circumstances, different colors look better. What looks good in real life on television doesn't necessarily look right. For my live stage shows was I would add some green to it and I'd add a little bit of blue to give it a really kind of brownish color on camera that ended up looking very, very purple or something. It didn't quite look right. Let's go ahead and at least go nuts with the red in there. We'll add a decent amount of water. So you'll notice I'm mixing up the caro syrup. And in this case, right now, it looks like kind of a fruit punch kind of thing. And this is that delicate balance because to us right now, this looks like neon red. You wouldn't believe that's actual blood, but on camera, it may look pretty realistic. Just a little bit of green to give it kind of that brownish color that real blood has. So now at this point, you got your blood made, now we need to make the blood packets. You want them to be relatively easy to pop with your hands and then be able to extract the blood and guts. We are going to actually make it out of just some cotton. And from stage, nobody cares. They see what looks like blood and they think, well, that's gross and that must be guts. Oh, These yeah. are just terry cloth wash rags. As I sort of drag everything here and there, just I'll, make I'll like a create bunch of one big shapes. piece. Yeah. And then I'll create two small pieces. Screw up the edges here, create a bunch of imperfections. You take the cheap bags, make sure you get the bottom all the way open. So I would take the one big chunk, the small chunk of flesh, and then whatever the medium was. Put it all the way down in the corner here. Less is more on at least one of your blood packs. You wanna get everything tucked in the corner and you don't wanna overdo it on the blood. You wanna tuck everything down. You wanna cut it off at about this size. You want it about the size of, I don't know, like a fig, uh -huh. I guess. Like the size of a tiny animal heart. And then you wanna keep on twisting everything tight, tight, tight. You're gonna tie it off as tight as you can. And when I say as tight as you can, I don't mean you're actually tying the knot as tight as you can. I mean as close to the bulge of liquid as you possibly okay. can. You wanna cut it super close up to that knot, but not actually cutting the knot because you want it to sit in its own self-contained little pod. If you're good at cutting that knot, you can make it to where there's no big burst moment and you could push it forward and the knot will unroll and you can squeeze out the blood and the guts on there. But if you have nice like soft bags, you'll be able to just crush it and it'll kind of squirt and then you'll be able to pull out the blood and the guts and even the bag itself, you'll be able to make it look like it's one of the organs. Is you gotta have an excuse for why you're reaching down to grab those blood packets. I'll put water in here and I'll put water in the other bowl. I'll throw this on top and then you're ready for the performance. Get them laid out in front of you with their head at one end and their feet on the other. You have two bowls Very right in front of you. Very important not to have their head and their feet on the same end. I have one of the bowls with water and then the other one has blood packets and a rag on top. Nobody will never notice, you know? They're busy, they're like, they're about to lay down and have their guts pulled out or whatever. Then I say, do me a favor, pull your shirt all the way up to your chest. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All we a couple did a of... sit up once, can you tell? <laughs> I keep a couple of extra towels to put one on each end. You say, now nah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wash you down with this cloth, it's extremely cold. God! Oh, it really is though. See, just, just pick up the freaking thing. Nobody's paying attention, nobody cares. And you're gonna keep this in a loose finger palm or a thumb palm. I could keep it kind of in a wedge position and I could show my hands free. So I'll grab this, get this in position. The more relaxed they are, the better because skin is phenomenally <laughs> flexible. Stop <laughs> laughing. As I push my fingers in like a, like a claw formation, I push this all the way down because once this is down, look at this, I can actually make it look like my hand is totally flat uh -huh. while I'm actually squishing this thing into it. I'll get like this to start. I'll put my other hand on top when I'll pull all my fingers in and now I've got a fist. So I'll just pop this and then you get, this is the magic moment. I move all the guts into my hand and then I curl my fingers up here. This is what my fingers are doing 
and when they're curled up on there, it looks like I'm reaching inside. And in fact, if what you do is you reach down and you sort of move your fingers up, like up and down like this, you can get this kind of thing where it's like you're digging in and then you could kind of pull in and out. <laughs> that <laughs> looks so horrific. Doesn't it though? <laughs> then you pinch with your thumb and forefinger. Usually the first thing I'll pull out will be either the biggest piece like this, there we go. And then I'll pull out the actual baggie itself. And then if you want, at this point, like I'm out of stuff right now, but I'm still digging around as if I have something in there. I'll say, oh, here, let me clean you off. So I'll grab the towel, I'll dab on the side. And they'll grab the next bag and they'll continue just like One that. of the most difficult things for me to figure out when doing this is how to get the right mixture of food coloring in there to make it look like real blood. And it's important to remember that how blood looks on television is not how it looks in real life. In real life, I use mostly red with a combination of a little bit of green and a couple of drops of blue. It gives this kind of sick, coagulated, oxygenated, blood-looking color. However, unfortunately on television, it does not look real at all. When I did Penn & Teller's Fool Us, I wanted it to be red, 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 red. So red it stained my hands. The important thing is to experiment. How it looks up close is not how it's gonna look on stage, and how it looks on stage will not match how it looks on TV. Scam School Remix brings you the best over over seven years and 400 plus episodes of Scam School. You can check out the original episode this came from, or check out my appearance on Penn & Teller's Fool Us, in which I don't fool them, but they do say that I did it better than them, which to be honest, I'd rather have, he says while gently wishing he had that F.U. trophy. It's a good-looking trophy.